Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Destructive News Network News. No matter how destructive, and we're going to take a look at a quick story of something that happened to a normal, regular, everyday working person in downtown Chicago. Thank you. Breaking overnight, one woman is in the hospital after she was stabbed in the face near State and 9th Street in the South Loop. Police say the woman was walking out from an apartment building when someone approached her, swinging a sharp object. 1001 South State. She was cut on her left eyebrow and taken to Northwestern Memorial Hospital. Luckily, she is expected to be okay. No races involved, no races mentioned, no description of suspect, no description of victim. Comment section turned off. Hmm, I wonder why. Let's take a look at the area. That's the area, and you can see the sign there on the building. Really nice building. Um, everything else is kind of old in this area. Look, just really, yeah. But let's take a look at the website, though. This is the website. I found a two-bedroom. I basically went through and picked something that I would be interested in if I were living there. Uh, and it looks like uh, we've got a move-in date of 8 10 22 and on a 12-month lease, $4,000 a month. And the layout's not bad. I could utilize this space. Um, if I were to, you know, just be a single person, I'd have my bedroom there. Um, I guess I would have the bedroom here, unless this is a balcony. If that's a balcony, that'd be dope, but I don't know if it is. It's probably not. It would probably say balcony. Um, I guess this would be the larger. This would be the master, I guess. I would... Uh, yeah, because I wouldn't want the bedroom wall being against the TV, at least for me. So I would have the bedroom here, have a nice big closet, uh, walk in technically. Got a bathroom here, toilet, and a stand-up shower. There's a tub in there. That's that's cool. Double sink. And yeah, I'd have there. And then I'd kind of just maybe go with a, I don't know, maybe a full-size bed. Give me a little bit more space off to the side. I'd have one nightstand. And then I might have like a little desk. Maybe, I don't know. Or maybe I just leave this as a traditional bedroom, then do a studio in here and record content for you guys in here. And uh, yeah, decent space, but $4,000 a month seems like a lot. Hope they've got good paying jobs there, but there's not a lot of space in this. Uh, there's not a lot of stuff available. Like I found one match. There's literally one Two-bedroom apartment. What about three bedrooms? There's one. 6,000. Let's look at the floor. Plan for that. This is a lot nicer. You got a bedroom there. That's the master. Closet. No, this is the master. What am I talking about? This is the, this is the big bedroom with a little hallway and then a walk-in closet. I feel like this space here from here to here is kind of wasted. It's got a bathtub. I don't know. This seems like, I mean, it's a lot. You can get a, you could get a nice home. You can probably get two nice homes for that much a month. Yeah. People that live here, it's purposeful living. They're either independently wealthy or they, they work downtown. You know, they have to be there for a work, for a job or family or something. It's, it's steep. And so that the type of person that lives here, lives in this building, um, they're bringing in the money. Let's take a look at the area. We've got some bike, bike police, bicycle police kind of patrolling. Building is really, really nice. Brand new. Everything else though, is sketchy. There's like a park back there. I think this is a, like a court, a court building or a government building of some sort. You can tell just by how the design of it and the brown, it's all brown, gross looking. Looks like a apartments here. Um, this place is dope though. It's got like, it's got like a really nice aesthetics going on. The amenities. If I look at the gallery, it probably makes more sense. Galleries to give you some examples of what these apartments look like. Really beautiful, gorgeous apartments. Really nice views. They've got the gym, of course. I'd love that. What's this? This is like a co work space. That's neat. That's nice. I'd hang out here. Definitely. Why would you ever even need to leave? 
Oh, they've got their own little bikes that you can you can uh, use. They've got the rooftop rooftop pool. They've got barbecue areas, green space. They got cabanas. Look at the views. Beautiful little piece of heaven while you're living in hell. But yeah, let's not make it too long. The area is uh, it's kind of shady. Everything around it is older. Um, there's like this weird, it's got secure parking, so at least that's good. It's this, this back here is where I'm like, what? All that, all under these, these tracks, I don't know what's going on. And then everything else is just kind of, it's older. I didn't notice like anybody just kind of just lingering and walking around. Not too many people anyways. Just like people that are just walking around that don't seem to have any business. There doesn't seem to be too much of that. Why can't I get down that street? There we go. Oh, it took me back. Why is it? It won't let me go down that street for some reason. Okay. Sales gallery. Looks like they're building something there. A lot of parking. More apartments. I guess you could do you could do worse, but it's weird. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting if they keep if they keep and follow up with this story so that we figure out, you know, why this person, this woman was attacked and who attacked her. Uh don't hold your breath, but hey, it is what it is. Well, this is a kind of a quick lunch hour report. Thank you for checking in. Hit that like, hit that share, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.